hybridization of atomic orbital and sp sp2 sp3 hybridization of carbon firstly let me teach you that what is hybridization well the word hybridization means mixture for example when you make salt plus water you get a mixture when you make sugar plus water you get a mixture similarly consider two atomic orbital s orbital and p orbital when these two orbital mix are combined together they form hybrid orbital this noted down that hybridization is the mixture or combination of atomic orbital just like the mixture of salt and water or mixture of sugar and water in this lecture for simplicity i would often use mixture of atomic orbitals which would means hybridization of atomic orbitals i do so that you could easily understand it hence we define hybridization as when different atomic orbitals of same or nearly same energy combine together to form new hybrid orbital is called hybridization for example the energy of s orbital is smaller than p orbital but nearly they have the same energy so they combine together to form hybrid orbital here you must learn that why we need to study hybridization of atomic orbitals well hybridization of atomic orbital teaches us two important concept it shows us molecular geometry or shape of the molecule secondly it shows us the bonding of atomic orbital you will learn more about the molecular geometry and bonding of atomic orbital in this lecture secondly why atomic orbitals are hybridized or why hybridization take place well there are different theories which explain this concept but i am going to explain it very easily consider two types of atoms are a atom a atom and b atom that a atom has two orbital s orbital and p orbital well b atom have only one orbital like s orbitals now let a atom react with two atoms of b to form a molecule we can see that there is ss bond between a atom and b atom well here is sp bond between a atom and b we can see that ss bond is totally different from sp bond it means that a atom form two types of bonds with the same atom of b which is impossible not understandable and 100% wrong thus to solve this issue we look at the hybridization of atomic orbital or mixture of atomic orbitals now s orbital and p orbital will combine together to form two hybrid orbital known as sp orbitals here this is sp orbital and this is also sp orbital hence this sp orbital of air atom will form covalent bond with s orbital of b atom and this sp orbital of a atom will also form covalent bond with s orbital of this b atom so this is now ssp bond and this is also known as ssp bond now a atom form ssp bond with b atom which is possible uh, understandable and 100% right also remember that hybridization of atomic orbital does not take place in every molecule for example now hybridization occur in the atomic orbitals of molecules like h2 hcl h2s now let me explain the hybridization of atomic orbitals of carbon firstly learning sp3 hybridization of carbon atom sp3 hybridization means that in this mixture of atomic orbital there is one s orbital and three p orbital so there are total four orbitals present in sp3 hybridization here is 25 percent s character and 75 percent p character present in the sp3 hybridization now have one s and three p orbital combined together sp3 hybridization for example consider a carbon atom in the ground state we know that there are six electron present in carbon atom and one is there are two electrons and two s there are two electron electrons well and 2p there is one electron in the x orbital and y 
let's consider the excited state of carbon atom there are two electrons in the one as well the one electron and two s electron jump z orbital electron so this two s orbital and three orbitals of two p x y z mix are combined together to form four hybrid orbital this i will explain these four high electron in these four hybrid orbital remember that they must have the same spin this is the first sp3 orbital this is the second sp3 orbital and third this is the fourth sp3 or so we have four hybrid orbital sp3 each having one electron now it is sp3 hybridization that teach us the geometry of carbon and its molecule for example carbon has this type of geometry and sp3 hybridization this is one sp3 orbital this second and third and fourth sp3 orbital each orbital having single electron the bond angle in sp3 hybridization is 109.5 degree and the shape shape of the sp3 hybridization carbon is tetrahedral noted on that these four sp3 hybrid orbital are called degenerate orbital it means that they all have the same energy also let me give you an example of sp3 hybridization of carbon and a molecule like methane ch4 now consider sp3 hybridization in this carbon atom we know that there are four unpaired electrons present in it according to valence bond theory bbt unpaired electron are needed to form covalent bond so four hybrid orbital will share their single valence electron with the electron of hybrid orbital of uh, carbon and we get ch4 thus this is the shape and geometry of the methane in which carbon has sp3 hybridization so, so not uh, done this example secondly let me teach us sp2 hybridization sp2 hybridization means that in this mixture of or atomic orbital there is one s orbital and two p orbital hence there are total three orbital present in sp2 hybridization or there is three per 33 percent s character and 60 70 67 percent p character present in sp2 hybridization now how, how these orbitals one s and two s combine together in sp2 hybridization a ground state we know that one s has two electron two s two electrons and two p there is one electron in the x orbital and one electron in y orbital well an excited state of carbon first s two electrons two s has two electrons and n p two p one electron in one x orbital and y orbital electron in z orbital now in the hybrid state there are already two electrons present in the first s orbital we know that in two uh, sp2 hybridization first s orbital and two p orbital combine together two s or orbital x y orbital of two p uh, will combine together to form three orbitals of sp2 hybridization thus i will put this unpaired electron in these hybrid orbitals having is the first sp2 hybrid orbital this is the second and third hybrid orbital lastly i write this z orbital of 2p there is z orbital is unhybrid orbital it means that this c orbital do not combine with 2s 2px and 2py also it has more energy all these three hybrid orbital now come carbon has this type of geometry and sp2 hybridization this is the first sp2 hybrid orbital this is the second and third hybrid orbital well this long it is 2pz orbital which is unhybrid orbital these all orbital have one electron each remember that the bond angle in sp2 hybridization is 120 degree well the shape of the carbon is trigonal also let me give you an example of sp2 hybridization of carbon in a molecule like ethane, ethane. let's consider sp2 hybridization in this carbon atom and in this carbon atom firstly both atoms will form chemical bond by sharing the unpaired electron in these sp2 
PSP orbitals. Secondly, they both will share the unpaired electrons and unhybrid orbital to PZ. Then uh, hydrogen will share its one electron with uh, this sp2 orbital and with this sp2 orbital. Not uh, it's done that not uh, unhybrid orbital always form a pi bond. For example, this two pz. Well, hybrid orbital always form sigma bond. For example, these sp2 orbitals form thus in ethene there is one pi bond and one sigma bond ethene bond shape and geometry of a molecule in which carbon has sp2 hybridization so noted on finally let me teach you sp hybridization means that in this atomic orbital there is one orbital of s and one orbital of p present in the orbital present in sp hybridization there is 50 percent s character and 50 percent p character in it now how one is orbital and one p orbital combined together to form well again consider com carbon is in ground state and an excited state we know that in sp hybridization only one s and one p orbital mix are combined together to form sp hybridization hence in the excited state 2s orbital and only x orbital of 2p combine together to form 2sp hybrid orbital this is the first sp orbital and this is the second sp orbital the y and z orbital of 2p do not take part in the sp hybridization of carbon so they both are unhybrid orbital thus we have two hybrid orbitals and sp hybridization each having unpaired electron now carbon has this type of geometry and sp hybridization this is the first sp orbital and this is the second sp orbital well this long orbital is 2py and this long orbital is 2p they both are unhybrid orbital the bond angle of sp hybridization is 180 and its shape is linear let me give you an example of sp hybridization of carbon and a molecule like ethine let's consider sp hybridization in this carbon First, both the carbon atoms will share the unpaired electron in SPSP orbital to form a chemical bond. Secondly, they both will share the unpaired electron in an hybrid orbital like 2PY, 2PZ to form a chemical bond. The hydrogen will share its one electron with this SP orbital. And with this SP orbital, there are two unhybrid orbitals like 2PY and 2PZ joint between carbon atoms so there are two pi bonds present in ethyne well there is one hybrid orbital joint between carbon atoms so there is only one sigma bond present in 